Hello guys, uh, it's me Sanjay. Uh, first of all, I would like to welcome uh, people who are all present here and I hope you guys are all uh, audible with me. So if you are all audible with me, you just put I'm audible in your live chat. So before that, I would like to welcome the people who are all present here. So first of all, uh, here we have uh, uh, Nilang, hi, good evening and Vikas, hi and uh, Purusharth, hi and Rohit, hi, good afternoon or good evening and Deepak, hi, good evening and Sandeep, good evening and uh, anusha hi uh, amai uh, Hachit, hi and uh, uday lakshmi hi good evening siba prasad hi i think you are connecting again siba prasad it's really great and uh, same rock hi uh, yash hi ram subramani hi aish banu hi uh, aisha banu you right and arham hi good evening and sarath hi uh, hariharan hi and uh, lukman hi and uh, sunny hi and Afsana Parveen, hi. And uh, Manoran uh, Manoranjan, hi. Uh, thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much for people who are all posting. Yes, audible. Uh, Kanak Raj, hi. Ash, hi. Uh, Leka Shri, hi. Uh, Divyesh, hi. And Achal Gawali, hi. Uh, Chinmay Srinivas, hi. Akula Naveen, hi. Uh, Punyasha, uh, hi. And uh, Mehak, hi. Darshan, hi. It's warm welcome, guys. Thank you so much. Uh, for your warm welcome it's really wonderful to see uh, these kind of response so yeah so uh, i hope you guys are ready for this session so uh, first of all it's me sanjay here uh, welcome to pandex solutions and uh, welcome to this uh, series uh, data analytics master class so uh, in this session today's session we are going to see on specific about artificial intelligence and then data analytics because uh, for the people who are all present here for some people they may have a lot of doubts that what is mean by artificial intelligence, what is data analytics, what is the difference between uh, data analytics versus data scientist and how can I get the job and uh, what are the posts where we can able to apply. So if I'm a mechanical engineer or if I'm a computer science or if I'm an electronic com computer uh, communication engineering, uh, can I able to apply the job for data analytics or data analyst. So likewise you may have a lot of doubts. So, uh, so that those kind of doubts which is going to be cleared from the session. So I hope you are all super ready for the session. If you are super ready, you just put uh, um, super ready Sanjay in your comment box below. Okay, so let us go for uh, about introduction about Pantech because it is my pleasure to give an introduction about Pantech Solutions. Pantech Solutions was established on 2004 and uh, we are having research, in, uh, research and development center in Chennai. We are also manufacturer of several lab equipments which includes uh, microprocessor, microcontroller, uh, 8051 or like uh, other uh, other like a PIC, ARM, FPGA, CPLE, artificial intelligence development board. These are all for electronics and for electrical we have um, uh, for electrical we have uh, renewable energy lab equipments and uh, every motor based solutions and also while talking about training expertise we have conducted 2000 plus workshop 250 plus faculty development programs 100 plus seminars and uh, 10,000 plus webinars like this and we are also having product and then projects uh, we are also providing solutions for project as well it may be a industry level it may be a college level it may be any level of project which has been uh, we are going to provide a solutions we are already providing a solutions and uh, so that kind of product and project which can be able to uh, uh, visible from the website called pantechsolutions.net and we are also providing a lot of master classes like courses which is completely based on application based learning which are not like a normal course which is completely based on application based learning and our mission to provide a service or to help the people of like one crore of people in the field of learning i hope you guys all field of in the field of learning if you are in the field of learning you just put uh, i am sanjay in your comment box below because uh, not uh, not not even uh, like each and every people will uh, definitely will be in the field of learning because if you are not in the field of learning definitely you will be outdated and you will be uh, kicked out of room from your job even okay even if you are in a good salary definitely you are not if you are not updating your knowledge definitely you will be kicked out Right. So, of course, other people who are all present here, everyone uh, will be uh, in the field of learning. Right. So before going on to the session, I would like to give some uh, clarity about learning, guys, because uh, this is not being taught by any organization or any institution or uh, your schools or your colleges or it not be taught by anything in anywhere. So that's why I would like to give some clarity about it. So the first thing problem in learning because the people used to face a lot of problems in learning guys the problems in the sense the people used to say that there are more content for an example if i'm going to tell that i'm going to teach it this concept for 12 hours will you stay 
definitely you won't stay right so that is like more content if it is there definitely people are feeling in difficulties and hard to learn if it is not precise definitely people are uh, used to uh, feel that is hard and less application so if uh, even if i'm completed the course i can't even to build a project by yourself by myself that is waste right so less applications and not interactive people can't able to interact with the instructor so that is maybe also a problem and not precise so what is the precise concept if it is if the content is not precise so that is also feeling bored and people are also uh, still now people are telling that problem is lack of information so these are all the problems which people are facing uh, like in in a field of learning guys hope you all agree to this point if you all agree to this point you just put i agree sanjay in your comment box below okay because uh, and another main thing about problem is lack of information still now there are statement like problem is lack of information sir actually i am telling you guys problem is not a lack of information okay problem is not a lack of information because in your google if you are typing artificial intelligence data analytics anything you can able to get millions and billions of results right so that's why i'm telling you problem is not a lack of information the problem is information overload there are a lot of information guys so from that we can we can't able to identify that which one is precise which one is good or bad for an example if you are learning certain concept from a certain youtube and uh, so if you are going for the second topic that may be hard in that channel but that will be easy in different channel right so you may feel lot of information that is the problem guys so problem is information overload okay problem is not a lack of information guys okay what is the people actually need is clear cut precise and focused implementation with clear mentorship so this is what actually people need so this is what you are going to get guys so once you are committed into the pantech solutions community you are going to get this okay you are going to get clear cut precise information and you are also going to get a uh, clear mentorship ideas regarding job and all so we are already planning it for within 30 days uh, within a month you are going to arrange a uh, job opportunities as well so likewise we are you are going to be in this kind of different level journey this is not like other courses okay so from this 30 days session you are going to learn uh, this data analytics first week we are going to learn about excel statistics and then probability and second week we are going to discuss about bi tools which is going to be for data visualization and third week we are going to discuss about python numpy and then pandas library and final week we are going to work on databases like sql mongodb and then we are also going to discuss about machine learning and then deep learning okay so this is what these are all the things we are going to learn from this uh, 30 day session okay so myself sanjay i'm working as a product manager in pantech solutions uh, my technological expertise is about first of all i started my career in brain computer interface technology and i hope you guys all know about elon musk's neural link right so if you know about him you just put i know uh, sanjay in your comment box below because he is well known uh, entrepreneur uh, and uh, you may call like a lot of different names right so like you can able to interface your brain with the computer so that is the concepts so first of all i wear some device in this picture you know so that is the picture uh, that is the device where it will be helpful for interfacing brain with the computer this is our product pantex product okay so likewise i started my career around that bza technology and i moved on to a little bit of image processing uh, and then i moved on to microcontroller and then uh, now i'm currently working on artificial intelligence uh, with includes like data analytics and then machine learning deep learning and etc as well as like robotic uh, like autonomous robot designs and those things and artificial intelligence development boards hardware like i've handled like nvidia jetson boards beagle boon pink fpga raspberry pi so these are all the boards which i have worked on up to now okay so that's all up to me and then why 30 days challenge okay stay guys within now uh, within 5 minutes we are going to go into the session so before that we would like to give some introduction about what you are going to learn in this 30 days what you are going to get from this 30 days you are not only going to get skill set and mindset guys you are not only going to get skill set as well as you are also going to get mindset so what is about mindset so what you are what you are calling like what is mindset because guys if you are talking about sundar pichai okay so i hope you guys all know about him right so if you are talking about him He, if he is supposed to have only a skill set, definitely he will be working as a normal engineer in Google or in some other industry. Apart from the skills that he is also having other skills, like which includes like mindset, having a positive thinking, a positive attitude, and um, decision making, leadership. So there are a lot more things uh, which is present in him, right? So that makes him to become a CEO of Alphabet. Okay, that's why it is for us. It is not only for the entrepreneurs. It's not only for the industrialists. It is also needed for the school kids also. So that's why uh, for this thirty days, for each and every day, I'm going to give some challenge to you. 
okay so i'm going to give some challenges i have 30 days challenges here okay i'm going to give the challenges and i'm also going to do this challenge with you guys okay so i hope you guys are going to do with me okay so if you are going to do with me uh, you just put um, uh, i agree in your live chat i agree your challenge sanjay in your live chat okay or comment box okay so because you are going to learn both skill set as well as mindset even if you feel have 20% of the skill set and 80% of the mindset you can able to achieve 100% of the skill set that is the key guys because this is not been uh, telling by my myself itself it has been uh, told by lot of people who have achieved it okay so that's why mindset is highly necessary okay so uh, skill set is not only enough you are going to learn this mindset okay if you are agreed this challenge you just put i agree your uh, your challenge in your live chat only thing you need is you may need some a4 sheets or you may need some uh, spiral notebooks okay for completing the mindset but skill set you are going to do as a hands on okay so i hope you guys are ready for it guys so uh, introduction to artificial intelligence so let us go to the uh, mind map of uh, artificial intelligence and then data analytics so here you may have lot of doubts guys regarding jobs uh, regarding uh, post uh, for post for if you have completed uh, data analytics course and what is the relation between ai and then data analytics what is the relation between machine learning and deep learning so likewise you may have lot of doubts which is running in your brain right so it is completely from the scratch guys i'm going to teach each and every concept from the scratch okay don't worry about it i hope you guys are super ready for this let us directly go into the session first of all let us go or let us explore this artificial intelligence guys so uh, so i hope you guys have been watch lot of artificial intelligence movies right so if you know what are the artificial intelligence movies you just post your answers in the comment box below what are the artificial intelligence movies which you have watched so far because uh, there are a lot of movies so, so if you asking to me so there are uh, uh, like uh, a robot endren endren movies and then i robot is there ex machina is there so there are a lot of terminator of course right so we won't forget arnold right so there are a lot of movies there right so in each and every movies what they are showing guys uh uh they used to train one robot or they used to train one machine or one computer which is going to be the enhanced version of the human being right so it can able to walk fast it can able to think fast it can able to make a decision fast so on each and every aspect it is going to be the enhanced version of the human being so what we need to do guys so if you have watched the indian movie and those movies they used to upload the hardware like languages and the uh, skills arts and skills they'll upload the languages they'll upload the dance skill they'll upload the uh, science skill so likewise they, they he used to upload lot of datas into the machine okay so if you are talking about uh, the real time robot which we already have uh, so you just tell me guys what is the robot uh, name which is already present uh, we have already seen in news also okay because there are robot is there right so if you know the name you just put your answers in the comment box below okay because if you are talking or if you are seeing that bot guys what it is doing uh, it is smiling even uh, and whenever you are speaking it can able to reply you and uh, it can able to think and it can able to make a decisions and uh, it can able to do whatever you can right so it is going to be enhanced version and it is going to be intelligent than you and also it can able to learn uh, automatically okay that is the main keyword how can it learn okay for an example guys people who are all present here so people who are all present here if you want to create one a uh, robot like you okay for example if you if you have if the if the if the people is there like uh, like uh, sanjay okay if you if i'm here so if i want to create a bot like me i can able to create a robot like me uh, by transferring my knowledge okay the keyword is if you are talking about the artificial intelligence i am going to transfer my knowledge or my experience to a machine in the format of data i hope you are clear with this if i want to create a a robot like me okay so i am going to transfer my knowledge or my experience to a machine in the format of data here data is the keyword where data analytics and data science is going to play a major role okay data is the main thing guys so who is all having a data that who is uh, data is wealth of course okay so data so we from the data it is going to learn okay so while doing or while talking about the methodology so for example uh, so let us talk about the skills or let us talk about the abilities of the human being guys what all the human being can do first of all a uh, human can able to analyze and make a decision right for an example people uh, used to have in the chats or uh, who used to used to uh, attend the session so uh, you just imagine guys so if someone is cooking biryani or some delicious food which you love the most so if you are smelling if you are getting the smell what is your emoji guys you just put your emojis in the comment box below 
okay because so you can able to analyze the smell and you can able to make a decision okay someone is cooking biryani nearby me right so other than that there is maybe another smells there may be another side there may be a rotten smell and there may be a good smell right so just post your emojis in the chat because you are analyzing something guys and you are analyzing something and you are identifying a pattern and you are making a decision right so that is based on some data right you are analyzing something and you all identifying a pattern and you are making a decision right for of course even though if you are observing a sky and if you are feeling so if some chillness if you are feeling some some chillness uh, by yourself you can able to feel that raining is there there is a rain right or there is a possibility of rain right so by analyzing and by identifying a pattern you can able to make a decision right so that is the first ability so if you want to feed that ability to a machine that can be fed with the help of the concept called machine learning and then deep learning guys okay so i hope you are clear with this guys the concepts such as machine learning and the deep learning will be helpful for uh, using this numerical data to uh, transfer your that ability okay analyze identifying a pattern and making a decision okay whereas there is a second ability what is the second ability guys for an example uh, if i am speaking to you guys i am speaking now right you can able to analyze and you can able to giving me the response right so what is the common thing which is required between us to have a mutual communication the mutual communication for that we need a common language so if you want to do that we can able to do with the help of the concepts called natural language processing and then machine learning okay by using this kind of concept we can able to transfer that text data so i hope you all remember that keyword guys i'm going to transfer my knowledge or my experience to a machine in the format of data here the data if it is a numerical data then we can go for the machine learning concepts if it is a text data then we can use the machine learning and the natural language cross uh, concept by uh, to uh, to transfer the uh, speaking and the chatbot ability whereas there is a third ability human can visualize it right So, for an example, if I'm going to show this uh, object to you, you can able to analyze that, and you can able to recognize this is the mobile phone, right? So you have the ability. Even though if I'm showing a Nokia double one zero, the people uh, born on nineties and those people can able to recognize that is a mobile phone. But because if I'm going to show the uh, Nokia mobile phone to the people, uh, uh, people who are uh, present now, so he, he they may think that uh, that is not a mobile phone. They won't uh, see or they won't. Uh, tell that as a mobile phone because they haven't seen that right so we have that knowledge guys so if you want to recognize if you all visualizing this right so you all visualizing it and you all recognizing this is a mobile phone because you have that knowledge so that knowledge or that ability can be given to the machine in the format of image data and by using the method called computer vision and deep learning we can able to create it or we can able to make that bot to train it i hope you all clear with this guys Okay, so if you are clear with this data and concept, you just put I'm um, clear data and concept Sanjay in your live chat or comment box. Okay, so what is the thing is, guys? I'm going to transfer my knowledge or my experience to a machine in the format of data. From the data, it is going to learn. So here, if the new data is a numerical data, then by using a method called uh, machine learning and then deep learning, we can able to use the data to train it, train our machine to uh, have the ability called analyzing, identifying pattern, and making addition. As same as like a text data. like identifying pattern and those things so the concept is natural language processing and then machine learning and if it is a vision camera based application so that is though then you can go for uh, image data uh, by using the method called computer vision and deep learning okay so i hope you are clear with this guys okay and then while going for the steps so first step so how we can able to create it for example if you are going to create one uh, computer like artificial intelligence computer so it should uh, act or it should uh, recognize an object or it should make us some decision so if it is so then what are the steps the first step gathering a data of course guys if you are talking about these artificial intelligence applications we need to gather a data guys how much data we have because this machine learning and deep learning it may require huge amount of data because if you are using a normal algorithm it doesn't requires the data but uh, but we need to specify the features but if you want to uh, inject the artificial intelligence it should think automatically so if you want to feed that kind of intelligence we need to have a data guys from the data it will learn okay the first step is the gathering a data where is the second uh, second step which is data preparation so what is mean by data preparation so like uh, removing the unwanted data or uh, to extracting the only feature which we need 
and uh, to identify the only feature. So likewise, we need to work on only the data because data is a huge process, guys. Data handling is a huge process where the data analytics and data analyst and uh, that people are going to play a role because data is main thing. Because if you are feeding a wrong data, for an example, guys, let us take a baby. Okay, so I'm having a baby here. Okay, I'm going to tell the baby that uh, apple as an apple and banana as a banana. Okay, people, uh, if I'm going to give the proper data, so if I'm even uh, so like uh, from the childhood itself, if I'm training the baby in a right path, for an example, as a parent, I'm going to tell that uh, baby that this is apple, this is a banana, I'm going the right object. So be, uh, uh, baby will learn, right? And teachers and then friends also showing the same, same kind of data for 20 years. Okay, for let us take 20 age. So for 20 years, people used to or um, or like uh, baby will learn that properly. For an example, guys, let us take a scenario. Parents teaching that apple as apple and banana as a banana. Let us suppose to take teachers are taking that banana as apple and apple as a banana. What the main scenario will happen, guys? Baby will get confused. Right? Data should be very proper. So that's why that we may need engineers to handle the data. It is a huge process. Okay, so that's why this is a main process like data gathering and data preparation. And then we need to choose algorithms. So what algorithm we need? So is it a deep learning algorithms or machine learning algorithms or classification or regression or prediction So those things? We need to choose the algorithms. So once the algorithm is chosen, then we need to train that algorithm by using that current data set. And, as, and then we are going to evaluate our data set. It's like evaluate our model. So how, what is our model's performance? What is our model's accuracy? So likewise, we need to obtain the model's performance. And then uh, parameter tuning. We need to tune some of the parameters to a model to increase our model's accuracy. For an example, if the model is giving like 96.1 percentage accuracy, if you are tuning some parameters, you can able to increase the accuracy from 96.1 to 98.5. Okay, so likewise, we can able to uh, we can able to tune the parameter to increase the accuracy further. And seventh one, finally, we can do the prediction or we can do the classification and the final state. Okay, these are the steps, guys. First of all, we need to collect the data. For an example, let me uh, let me have some example like uh, if if my bot or if my bot want to classify apple and then banana. So I want to collect a gather. I want to collect the data. For an example, I will collect ten thousand images of apple, ten thousand images of banana. Okay, instead of images, you can take data. Okay, 10,000 data of apple, 10,000 data of uh, banana. Okay, and data preparation. Removing the wrong data and removing the unwanted data. And uh, choosing a model. I'll choose, it is a classification. So that I'll go for uh, deep learning or machine learning uh, classification algorithms. And then I'll train it with the algorithm with our data set for 20,000 data set. And I'll evaluate. So what is our model accuracy? If it is giving 96.2 percentage accuracy, uh, if I want to, that is evaluation. And then we can tune some parameters by increasing the data set size from 20,000 to 40,000 image size and clear images, only featured images. So likewise, I can tune some of the parameter to increase its accuracy. And finally, we can do the prediction or classification. Okay, that is what is all about the steps, guys. I hope you are clear with the steps, guys. So if you are super clear with this, you just put I'm clear about steps, Sanjay, in your comment box below. Okay? So these are the basic things, guys. These are the steps. So on the steps, this data analytics are going to play a role. Data analytics or data science are going to play a role in these parts. Okay? How it is going to play a role? Okay? Let us explore, guys. First of all, clarity about the studies. Because the people are thinking, people having a lot of problems or a lot of thoughts that uh, learning or to become a data analytics or to become a data scientist, it is really hard. And to become an artificial intelligence engineer, it is really hard. And they people don't know how to reach that destination. Okay, these are all the problems which are faced by the people. Okay? So first of all, I would like to give some clarity about the studies, guys. The first about data analytics. There are uh, keywords like data analytics, machine learning, deep learning, right? So while talking about the data analytics, guys, pre-processing or analyzing or visualizing the data. The people are placed to role, uh, having a role here, guys. Because for an example, guys, if you are, uh, even though you may have, you may from different departments, you may from mechanical engineer, you may from uh, electrical engineer, you may from computer science engineer, you may from business, or you may in the uh, business, uh, you are, you may, uh, you may uh, entrepreneur. So you may be in the any field, guys, any field. Now they are recruiting uh, the post for data analyst to become a data analyst. 
because the data is a main thing for an example if you are talking about a car industry so who is uh, who people are manufacturing lot of vehicles so if you are talking about a bmw okay definitely for bmw they may have lot of data analyst data analyst because they need to analyze the data guys so analyzing in the sense for 2010 to 2020 so what all the models have been launched and uh, which model got a huge success okay so likewise they need to analyze it they need to put a chart they need to give some presentation about the chart because if i am going to give the raw data definitely you can't able to understand anything from the raw data it is really hard so instead of that if you are doing some pre processing if you are removing the unwanted data and if you are taking only the actual data and if you are visualizing and if you are projecting to your team members so from that a management can make a decision that uh, if i am if we are launching the uh, vehicles on this month it is really successful so from that success graph right data analyst is not only working in excel and those things it is not about apart from it they are also doing lot more things guys okay data pre processing and data acquisition those things we will say later okay so data analytics we are analyzing something and we are doing some projection or visualizing and analyzing so those things is going to be done from by the data analytics okay that studies while talking about the machine learning so i'm not going to go in depth on the machine learning because it's really a huge thing definitely we are going to explore on the uh, last week okay but while talking about the machine learning guys so on talking about the machine learning so already data analyst will give the data uh, the proper data so from the data what are the features in each and everything will be given by the data analyst major work will be done okay and after that from the machine learning side so what the people used to have is people used to have a prediction guys so what does mean by prediction so for an example guys if you are having some industry okay in the industry there may be a lot of uh, components like sensors like temperature humidity gas leakage and fuel level so likewise you may have lot of uh, lot of water a uh, lot of a lot of e equipments right so if you want to obtain lot of data so that data acquisition and data visualization those going to be done by the data analyst so that study which is a data analytics where the machine learning engineer or deep learning so that machine learning engineer what they will do is they will get the data from the data analyst and they'll use to predict something so what is mean by prediction guys so for an example guys uh, let us take a uh, same as like your vehicle is there okay your uh, autonomous your electric vehicle is there okay so from the electric vehicle there are a lot of data we need to acquire like uh, fuel and then uh, your engine like if you are talking about electric vehicle like ecu is there battery management system is there and uh, other parts are there right so you may get a lot of data from the lot of uh, parts which is present in that certain um, what certain vehicle so let us suppose to have you are traveling in a highway guys okay you are traveling in a highway so while traveling in a highway if you are getting some response within 15 minutes your vehicle uh, your uh, your uh, ecu is going to occur or is going to have some problem it is going to stop okay if you are getting some message before itself it will be great right right so that is the prediction guys you are predicting something which is going to be happen within a 15 minutes if you are getting some response like that that process or that role which is going to be done by the that kind of concept which is going to be done with the help of machine learning guys okay there is a two things guys classification also you can do so like as we have already discussed like uh, like um, if the signal is weak or wrong if the news is fake or real news so if that kind of classification can be done with the classification algorithm whereas if you want to do some uh, like what uh, like uh, prediction also that can be done with the help of prediction so that is going to be role of deep learning guys okay deep uh, sorry machine learning so deep learning is going to be a classification okay so these are all the things right so from that so this complete thing is going to be uh, studied with the help of data scientist okay so if you want to study a data if you want to become a data scientist if you want to start from start and then end if you want to start at the data and then if you want to end at the prediction then you want to uh, become like you want to be in the study of you want to be in the field of data scientist okay on the data analytics in the one of the major role okay data analytics and then machine learning engineer okay so where the prediction and that kind of thing will be lies under the machine learning those things whereas if you are going to completely work on the data that is going to be for the data analytics okay if you are studying as a complete thing data scientist okay i hope you all clear with the uh, i hope you guys all got clarity about the studies guys if you have got clarity about the studies you just put uh, i got clarity sanjay in your uh, in your uh, comment box guys 
okay so this is about the data scientist data analytics okay whereas if you are talking about the job roles guys because you may have a lot of job uh, doubts uh, what are the posts how can i apply so if i studied or if i completed a certain part like data analytics or machine learning or data scientist because data scientist so data scientist is going to be under the data analytics because uh, if you have completed a data scientist so definitely you have already completed a data analytics also okay so uh, data analytics is going to be under the category of data science also okay data science and then the machine learning is also going to be under this but you can also uh, study segregate you can able to segregate also you can first of all you can complete a data analytics and you can work as a data analyst and uh, you can able to or you can go for a machine learning or you, you can work as a machine learning engineer you won't bother about the data which are given by uh, data analyst or if you want to become like start to end if you, if i want if you want to become a champ of, uh, about like complete uh, uh, start to end process then you can go for uh, data science okay so then first of all let us talk about the data analytics what are the uh, job roles you can apply so sales analyst uh, operation analyst uh, customer success analyst market research analyst marketing analyst business analyst financial analyst so likewise these are all the job roles apart from that uh, there are a lot more job roles guys so if you have completed this 30 day session you can apply for these roles as well as well as you can also apply a little bit for this machine learning as well because i'm going to discuss about the machine learning at the end week also okay so a uh, machine learning engineer data architect uh, data scientist data mining specialist a uh, cloud architect a cyber security analyst so with the help of networking also okay and then uh, data science so if you are data science like a data analyst manager business analyst statistician and uh, machine learning engineer data engineer data scientist data analyst data architect data administrator likewise the job which you can able to do on uh, you can apply for data analyst and then machine learning you can also apply if you have completed the data science so data science in the sense you need to complete the data analytics so working on complete data like uh, obtaining a data data acquisition those things i'll discuss later so data analytics as well as you also need to work on the prediction also you need to give the end results so with the help of data what is the end result so did you predicted something so for example if you are a sales uh, executive if you are a business analyst so if there is a car company or car you are going to about to launch your company is about to launch so you should predict from the data that uh, so this is the sales uh, sales which is expected in this year so likewise you need to give some prediction if i launch this uh, car launch in this certain month and by this using this customer if i have did this proper promotion so you will get this kind of sales this much of sales so that kind of prediction or if it is a customer based means so you may have lot of customer data from that if you have, if there is any new customer you should just want to predict whether this customer is going to buy this product or he is not going to buy this product okay likewise this can be completely done with the help of these uh, data scientists and data analysts guys okay so and then let us discuss about that next point road map to become a data scientist so how can i go that so sanjay how can i go for uh, how can i reach the destination right so this is maybe the your doubts right so of course you may have this doubt so the first thing first of all we need to skill we need to have lot of skills guys we need to master some of the skills so while talking about this road map of to become data analyst and then next uh, thing means so for the skills like uh, excel so you may think so excel is is it enough so lot of people are thinking that it's just an excel right so a lot of people are thinking that it's just an excel is it a is it a huge skill of course guys because in excel you make you can do lot more things because if you are working in a data definitely you need to be master uh, of about excel okay because it is highly necessary to master the excel guys because definitely based on this road map only we are planned for uh, internship program also okay we need to have the excel skills okay like doing a pivot table or by applying lot of formulas so likewise we need to master excel as well and then second th uh, skill statistics so while talking about the statistics statistics is going to be the backbone for the data scientist guys because uh, so the uh, statistics in the sense i hope you guys have uh, heard about some names like mean variance probability <laughs> so how many of you guys love math mathematics so apart from like statistics and you also we have to have a uh, skills about mathematics also so how many of you loves uh, love that kind of concepts like mean variance standard deviation probability how many of you love it so if you love it you just put i love that uh, in your comment box below okay so that statistics we need to have because statistics is the backbone of the data analytics and then programming so while talking the program talking about a, py a programming python is more familiar and which is very easy to work on so python programming and then data visualization so data visualization in the sense so for example you have 
uh, you have some data so from the data to remove and those things you can able to done with the help of excel itself so apart from it if you want to do the visualization of the graph so if you want to visualize the 10 years of uh, sales so if you want to do that you can able to do or you need to master that data visualization skills and then the library such as these are the python libraries which is numpy and then pandas library which will be helpful for uh, data acquisition and um, some kind of numerical operation can be done with the help of numpy so numpy is nothing but a numerical python library okay and then sixth one which is about bi tools so bi tools in the sense which will be helpful for uh, doing a visualization without a programming so bi tools so like tableau so that kind of tools we need to master on so so that is also highly necessary and database so database in the sense sql mongodb so these kind of database skills is also highly necessary and then machine learning so if you want to become an uh, enco so you need to know master the machine learning concepts and then deep learning so these are all the flow guys so first of all we need to work on the excel okay excel sheet uh, we need to master that excel first and then we need to go for the statistics and then we need to go for the python so with the help of programming we can go for the data visualization or you can uh, go for bi tools as well so that's your option so if you want to go for data visualization without with the programming you can go for a python uh, with the help of like numpy and then pandas and matplotlib uh, so that kind of library for data visualization but if you want to don't go for the programming means you can go for the bi tools and database so database like sql mongodb and then you can go for the machine learning so to do some prediction and those things and uh, deep learning so machine learning and the deep learning these are all the roadmap to become a data scientist guys okay so i hope you all enjoying with me guys okay so uh, so and then fifth one so last one complete skill needed for the industry so you may ask so for industry what is the requirement so what they are asking first of all you may have uh, about the skills about the, the same thing guys but i'm just going to elaborate it first of all you need to have the skill like if you want to become a data analyst you just want to have the skill about data preparation so on the data preparation we have furthermore uh, classifications like data source so for example you may some of the industry may give different kind of format or the, from the different source they may give the data and from the, some of the company they may give different source of data right that is a data source and data cleaning you are going to remove some unwanted and you are going to get only the proper data and data combining if you have uh, one data from one sources and another data from another sources you need to know how to combine the data and data transformation how to transform uh, transform your data into another format where it will be very helpful for doing uh, another further process so these are all the skills which we require like data source cleaning combining transformation about the data and second one number crunching so while talking about a number crunching which includes like mathematics and then statistics where uh, statistics uh, statistical analytics and functional analysis and ad hoc analysis experiment analysis these kind of analysis like which is work on the numbers like if you want to work on some mean or uh, doing an average to doing a standard deviation so likewise if you want to do that that is about number crunching so whenever you want to work on a numbers okay and then uh, third one storytelling so uh, you may uh, you may ha you may raise a question so is it a storytelling definitely it is highly necessary guys because if you are a data analyst if you are a data scientist on each and every month or whenever you are going to launch a product or whenever a certain company or certain industry uh, is going to give some new things or uh, if they want to increase the sales definitely they'll ask this data scientist because they are the he, he or the person who are all, the people who are all present here uh, on this uh, who are all attending the session so those you are the people who are all having a huge data about that company so even though you are good at skills okay even you have created at a proper way you know that prediction if they if that company is going to launch a product on the next month they are it is going to get failed you have already predicted that by analyzing the previous data if you have predicted that if they have launched this product on the next month that is going to be completely fail even though if you know that if you are not conveying the message to your team or your management definitely they won't agree to this point and they'll blindly launch that product so if they are launching that product definitely that is going to be failed right that's why we need to have that storytelling skill so storytelling in the sense we need to make we need to know how to make a charts and we need to know how to make a story uh, we need to do the formatting presentation visual design skills 
like if you are giving in a precise manner so for an example guys you are a sales manager you are, if you are giving the preciseness that uh, if the product price is uh, around like 1000 rupees and if the product is launching on the diwali time like festive any festival time and um, if the launch if the promotion we have spent like uh, 20 uh, like uh, 5 lakhs of rupees for promotion and marketing if they have if we have achieved this kind of thing if you are giving the proper threshold or proper ratio of the sales chart like doing a calculation and the uh, by presenting us a charts and graphs and those things definitely they'll agree to this point definitely lot of data analysts are, are losing their job on that this kind of specific skill even though he is technically strong he is can't able to even present himself in a proper way by doing giving a charts and storytelling and those things okay that's why storytelling is also highly necessary guys okay that is the third one okay so and then asking questions so yeah that is also a highly necessary guys asking a question because if your management is telling you i want a sales uh, prediction on the next month okay if that is the task for you okay if you are doing it blindly if you are doing it blindly without asking any question you are going to use any every parameter uh, customer salary customer age uh, customer's uh, gender and uh, uh, customer's uh, location so likewise if you are using each and every features and you are creating charts and if you are you are projecting uh, you are you are projecting output that uh, so these are all the people going to buy this product okay so if you are going to blindly doing that you may feel the uh, you may face the problem like for an example the product is a uh, uh, fair and lovely okay for a woman okay so if that is the scenario your complete work is going to be wasted guys okay because that is a woman product okay that if you are if it is a, even though that is a woman product you are doing a data analyst you are doing analysis for the data for who both for men women so those things completely your work is going to be wasted right so that's why we need to ask start asking the questions to our management so questions in the sense what do you exactly need what are the what should be include what should i uh, exclude and how to display and uh, you just want to understand your business first then only you can able to do the analyst or you can able to do the uh, prediction guys okay so uh, that is the main concept about asking question guys okay i hope you guys are enjoying with me guys if you all enjoying with me and if you all uh, staying with me you just put i'm uh, i'm enjoying sanjay in your uh, comment box below okay so that is all about these things guys so we need to ask the questions a lot what are the things we need to exclude or what are the things we need to include and how to display what you exactly need so like guys you need to ask a question and then we need to work on the data analyst part and we need to analyze the data and we need to use the data to do the prediction okay and then fifth one technology so technology in the sense uh, we need to be skill about some of the tools like excel so if it is talking about excel means tables formulas pivot tables charts dashboards powerpoints uh, power query uh, vba macros like that and bi tools like tableau so power bi so likewise we need to uh, be skill on some of the tools also okay so likewise we need to complete about the skills guys so i hope you guys all enjoyed this mind map okay so definitely don't worry about the mind map i'll share the mind map okay if you are subscribed for the internship so i'll attach this mind map to a portal itself okay i'll have a quick overview if you are talking about the artificial intelligence i need to transfer our knowledge or our experience to a machine in the format of data so while talking about the data here we have the steps if you want to uh, train our artificial analysis system like collecting a data and process the data for training and then evaluation and then doing a prediction or classification so for that while talking about the studies we have data analytics machine learning engineer data and uh, deep learning and those things so data analyst or the person or role which is going to be a data pre processing analyzing uh, visualizing like acquisition and those things so if you are while talking about the roles there are a lot of roles for data analyst machine learning engineer or if you are going to be in the core end like start to end you are going to be in the data scientist okay you can able to call us like yourself as a data scientist where you are both skill set as both data analytics as data analytics as well as the machine learning so that you can able to process the data as well as you can able to give the end results also that's why you can you will call yourself as a data scientist 
and then this is the roadmap to become a data scientist like excel statistics python data visualization uh, and then libraries like numpy pandas matplotlib there are a lot of libraries also there and bi tools are da database machine learning and the deep learning and then while talking about the skills we need data preparation number crunching storytelling skill asking questions skills and technology of course communication skills also highly necessary okay if you are uh, if you are a data scientist okay these are all the core in product about uh, this uh, uh, artificial intelligence and then data scientist guys okay and another main thing so you also we are also going to provide a 30 days internship program on this data analytics okay which is about two months validity where if it is about a video coaching because uh, you will get 30 days of video lecture about 4000 rupees worth of 4000 rupees and source code and materials so like what are the source code which are working on i'm going to provide that source code and the materials like a uh, mind map data set and each and everything we are going to provide which is on the worth of 2000 and uh, triple nine and internship certificate and support system we are also going to provide the support system as an internship that is going to be worth the price of uh, 1099 so which is in the total price of 999 only okay the internship which is going to be provided for 999 okay hold on a minute guys i am going to give special offer who are all the people who are all present till the end okay the people who are all present at the end uh, those people are going to get the special offer okay i am going to give that offer not only triple nine not triple nine guys okay people who who are all going to leave now you can register for this internship program for triple nine rupees but the people who are all going to stay till the end i'm going to give the special offer okay so stay till the end guys okay so because still a uh, mindset programming is also uh, success mindset is also remaining there okay so special is of a special offer which is going to be waiting for the people who are going to stay till the end okay i i hope you guys are going to wait and i going i hope uh, you guys are going to see that okay so uh, these are all the feedback which is given by the people in our community guys the people the feedback i'm just going to read only one comment like about the session is really very useful and interesting i've learned many unknown things in this five days uh, when i was scrolling in insta i came to about this know about webinar after uh, joining really it's interesting and i shared link to my friends too this pandemic solution is re really different from others okay you just uh, note down this keyword guys finally keep doing things and uh, they are uh, appreciating and they are encouraging and it's an, such an interactive such a really a lecture can call the name of student who replied actively in the live chat and that so much excited us and uh, actually i'm a biology student but they are used to learn about uh, programming and those things so likewise we got used to get lot of huge these kind of uh, messages these kind of reviews as well guys first time i have attended these kind of free workshops and webinars really everything is awesome uh, there are many people who give webinar but they don't give a hands on experience on the hardware kit likewise there are a lot of not people or every people are not giving a hands on experience but you can able to feel that hands on experience from this uh, internship guys so actual price is triple nine okay so shocking offer i'm going to provide this for 590 rupees guys okay so i'm going to provide this offer to you guys if you really want to acquire this offer i can give you the link okay so uh, uh, give me a minute i'm going to give you the offer uh, price about a different link okay so uh, data and text so i'll give the link in the live chat now okay so you can get this offer price of uh, 590 rupees okay only the, for the people who are all going to stay till the end okay so uh, yeah i copied the link okay call link is ready guys i have made the link now okay people stay till the end so that i'm going to provide you the co uh, provide you the link for uh, registering for 590 rupees okay so i'll give the link anyhow okay give me a minute okay so i'm i'm gonna give the link guys so this is a day uh, rda internship okay so i've given the link guys i've given the link of uh, data analytics uh, internship program uh, which is in the offer price of 590 rupees okay it is a one time offer guys it is not actually it has been projected as triple nine and another shocking surprise is also there the people who are already paid uh, for by using triple nine rupees they are also going to get the refund if we, if the people are going to stay uh, here in the session okay so still now there is uh, another part is also remaining guys uh, remaining part which is success mindset i hope you guys are ready for this success mindset if you are super ready for this you just put um, i'm super ready sanjay in your live chat because uh, this is also highly necessary guys so that's why i told the best example sundar pichai that uh, we need to uh, we need to uh, pr prepare our mindset also 
so you may have you should have 80 percentage of the mindset and 20 percent of the skills it is also enough but you should have the major major mindset okay we need to have a proper mindset so that's why it is highly necessary to learn okay so uh, so that's why it is highly necessary so uh, guys uh, people who want to register for this course for 590 rupees don't go for the other links please go for the link which i have pinned in the live chat okay so click that link and avail the offer price this is offer this is a limited time offer guys because it is not been given on this price okay register for this okay so uh, everything is okay so i'm ready i'm ready i'm ready okay guys now now let us time to go for 30 day success mindset day one so this is about write down everything you think you need to do guys so 25 plus actually you just take uh, a4 sheets okay you can take uh, a4 sheets or uh, you can have uh, any uh, spiral notebooks and you just write down everything you think you need to do guys so if for an example i am learning uh, french language i'm learning a uh, german language uh, so likewise you just write and uh, what are what do you think guys so for people lot more people are thinking for lot more days so at sometimes you may th you may think that uh, i want to learn i want to learn french i want to master data analytics i want to uh, learn artificial intelligence i want to become uh, i want to i want to become engineer in google i want to become uh, like like what uh, engineer in amazon so likewise you may have lot of thoughts in your brain guys Okay, you can take two hours or you may take three hours. You just write minimum like 25. Okay, so not about 25 guys. You just write whatever the things. You just take your time and you just write it. Okay, write that in your paper. I started a business. I want to start a business. I own a BMW car. So likewise, you just write it guys. You just write it like in a paper. Okay, tomorrow I am also going to show that uh, I written that. Okay, so you just take A4 sheet or uh, like any kind of like... Um, uh, like spiral notebooks and just start nighting it. This is the first exercise, guys. Are you go? Are you guys going to do this task? If you are going to do this, you just put. Uh, I am gonna do in your live chat. I am gonna do Sanjay in your live chat because, guys, it is. Uh, you you definitely. If you have completed this thirty days of success mindset, you will be a different person from now, guys. I can be able to give you the open challenge. Okay, you will going to be. If you are following it properly, definitely you will be in the different way. You will be in the different person. Okay, take your paper, you can take additional sheet, you can have any additional sheets also. Please use uh, more, more, uh, you just take your time guys, two hours even it may be, okay. Please spend time, some time for your uh, uh, mindset or if you if you really want to become rich, definitely money is going to be our core, uh, core product, right. So if you want to become rich or if you want to become uh, very good at skill, it may be anything. So skill as well as your financial status, it may be anything okay please take your paper and tomorrow i'm going to ask whether you did or not okay so please do it guys okay please do this so what is the thing is you are going to uh, uh write it okay you are going to write what are the possible things what are the things you, you are going to do or you need to do okay you just take your time and you just write as much you can okay likewise you just write because and also you are going to uh, like, like like deadline also you can put up some deadline also for an example uh, i'm gonna own a bmw car at my age of 30 at my age of 28 25 not a 30 guys don't take don't uh, please please erase it uh, please take it like age of 26 27 so put it there like a deadline also because goals without a dream uh, sorry goals without a deadline which is going to be a dream Okay, so you can also keep it like a deadline also. So write nearly 25, minimum 25 plus points. Because definitely there may be a lot of wish guys because you want to go for world tour. So it may be anything. So what do you really want to do? If you want to do ja bungee jumping or if you want to do some river rafting, uh, paragliding. So it may be anything. So you don't take, it is a small one. Take everything. Think big and try to write whatever you want to do in your life in a paper guys. Okay, so that is your first exercise. I hope you will do this. Okay, so uh, yeah, we are in the final Q and A session, guys. If you have any questions, please raise your questions in the live chat here. Okay, so I'm waiting for your questions, guys. You can raise your questions. Okay, so I'm waiting for your questions. Thank you so much, guys. A lot of people have posted that I will do, I will do, I will do. Guys, I'm also going to do with you. Okay, so I'm also going to write it here. Okay, in this paper. Okay, so and guys, if you are an internship participant, uh, I'm going to give this uh, word document to you in the attachment section because guys, if you have registered for the internship, you know, so you will get this kind of portal. 
okay like ai master class using python likewise you will get the portal for uh, data analytics also okay data analytics data analytics also you will get this portal so for each and every day one lecture will be updated so day one so you want to complete one by one okay you should not rush up okay you should not rush up like uh, completing two or five days in a single day you should not do that you are going to do only one session per day okay you will get login access portal like this okay in this portal like uh, for each and every day section it is going to be released like this you will get assignment and then attachment section where you can able to download the source code you can able to download the uh, mind maps you can download whatever the whatever the things which you have seen in the session you are going to uh, get it from the internship okay only for internship guys you can be see the video lectures as well so you can able to download the attachment from the attachment and then assignment section so assignment is not a mandatory guys you can get this uh, that okay so here there is a ppt and then this is a panic ball likewise you can able to get whatever you want uh, from the uh, portal okay if you registered for the internship you will soon get the internship uh, this access portal uh, okay so and also you can also clear your doubts from the telegram vip group i'll send you the link uh, within two days or within three days okay so i'll send the telegram vip group so that you can able to interact with me directly okay those things you can do from the telegram vip group okay guys uh, that's all about this internship uh, program guys if you register for the internship you will get the access for this internship program like a portal like this and each and every day one lecture will be released and then task uh, the task is like uh, this mindset uh, the success mindset uh, task as well as like program mindset is program task is also going to be there so likewise you are going to do that uh, only registered students continue this internship uh, yes of course the people uh, who registered for the internship you will get the access for this internship portal uh, internship portal okay whereas if you are only for you only for only registered for the free webinar you can attend the session in the youtube but you won't get any replay you won't get uh, any support uh, like uh, like any doubt clarity okay? those things you won't get from the free session only you register for the internship you will get the support you will get the materials you uh, materials i'll share but anyhow uh, supports and uh, video lecture replay so each and everything will be get for only for the people who joined the course uh, can someone from abroad join this course of course uh, people who are abroad uh, that's also uh, possible but uh, you may you just want to ping us so that we will share you the paypal link so from that you can able to pair uh, Rohan Sahana, so who have registered? I have registered, sir. It's really wonderful, guys. It's really wonderful that you have registered. Uh, which language is better for machine learning, either R or Python? Uh, R or Python. So if you are beginner or if you are good at Python, if you are if you feel that is easy means, please go for a Python. Okay, but if you are mastered Python, then you can go for the R programming because when compared to the R, Python is really easy. Can a student of MBA pursue data analytics as a career? Yes, of course, because as you are an MBA, uh, it is really uh, for you guys because uh, you are a business, you can able to become a business analytics, a business analyst. Okay, so that is highly necessary. A uh, refund for those who paid nine triple nine. Yes, of course, guys, that is a shocking surprise. The people who have registered for this course for triple nine rupees already, those people are going to get the refund or remaining amount okay so uh, only challenge is the people who are present in this session so you are going to get that refund uh, so anyhow i will send the refund but other than that people who are all stay in the session they are going to get this price about uh, about 590 rupees okay uh, will we get 30 day session on youtube uh, arpit actually you will get but there is no reply will be there okay this video will be removed on the specific day itself okay so uh, if you miss the session that is missed alone okay so you can't able to get the session again but if you registered for the internship paid internship program you can able to get the video lectures validation of the certificate validation certificate is okay validation of the course is about two months guys Sir, mechanical engineer can do this. Uh, uh, Sarvesh Verma. Yes, of course, you can do this, Sarvesh, because uh, so each and every people or in each and every field, uh, there, is, there is a requirement for data. Analysis. Even though in a mechanical engineer, if the people are working on a data, so uh, there, there is a requirement to work as a data analyst. Even though you are a data analyst, you just want to understand the business or uh, working of your company first, then only you can able to become a data analyst. Okay? Do we get a uh, placement support? Actually, placement uh, which is already in process. We are about to join the HR team uh, with the people who are registered for the internship. But uh, valid uh, the date and uh, the time I can't date and time I can't say. So still, it is in process. Within one or two months, it will be uh, updated. Okay. Uh, 
uh, will be will we be working on any project in internship yes of course in internship program we are going to work on some project like business analyst any any one or two project i'm going to uh, show it to you okay add in a real time how we can able to visualize the data so those things definitely we are going to do as a hands on guys so don't worry about the hands on guys definitely you will experience that hands on uh i'm a phd student in astrophysics uh can i pursue in a in the data science uh if you are a physics so uh, so that is based on your uh, requirement you just check once okay for physics i am not sure okay but but, uh, but for phd definitely people are lot a lot of people are uh, doing data analysis because even though you are in any department so on your department you can able to become a data analyst because if there is any company uh who is working on in your field definitely there may be a requirement of business analyst okay so that definitely you can do that uh what's the difference between your internship and then webinar yeah so if you are talking about the normal youtube webinar you won't get the reply uh reply like and then uh, you won't get the uh, source code and then project source codes a uh, project source code and uh, data sets you won't get that and you won't get the support also support can be given in the youtube command but other than that no, there is no additional supports uh but if you are registered for the internship there will be a replay for 2 months you will get this complete video lectures which has been shown in this kind of portal you will get the login access for this portal and you will get the source codes and you will get the data sets and you will get the mind uh, mind map which we have seen in this like this this kind of mind map also you will get and additional supports additional q and a session which is also going to be conducted uh any any week of saturdays we will conduct the uh, uh like kind of live session for q and a clearance that kind of thing will be only available for the internship people okay uh will you teach python and r from Pi basics uh, ankit uh, ankit hi ankit uh, so we are going to go or we are going to take only python uh, ankit okay so uh, with the help of python i'm definitely i'm going to start it from the scratch how to install a python what are the notebooks we can use it for python so likewise i'm going to completely start it from the scratch don't worry about it definitely it is going to be completely from the scratch guys advanced excel is necessary not or not yes of course excel uh, guys while talking about the knowledge or while talking about the learning it is not about that if i completed uh, that excel part so uh, do i able to master that excel definitely not because each and in le learning field guys it is completely it is a progressive learning okay so for an example if even if i'm completed the 50 to 60 course i can i won't can't able to say that i am a master in that because definitely in each and every day they are updating lot more things even if you are seeing a python they are updating lot of syntax there are lot more things so if i completed the ma if i master the python on this month on the next month they will update some of the facilities they will introduce some of the libraries as well so it is not about uh, core end so it is about a uh, progressive uh, learning okay so once you have completed the 30 days you won't feel that learning is hard learning artificial intelligence learning data analysis it is hard okay so you will feel that you, it will bring you to the next level of your journey to become a data analyst or data scientist will we get the certificate for 30 days youtube webinar you in youtube webinar you will get the printed uh, sorry you will get only a, a webinar certificate you won't get the internship certificate do we get certificate by you attending youtube webinar yes but that is not uh, useful guys okay so because uh, because what uh, that is not useful because until you are projecting your knowledge so uh, you may you should have some hands on practice that hands on practice can be achieved with the help of only the internship program in the youtube you can able to see only the session not having a hands on but if you have done for internship so you will get each and everything as a hands on guys okay kartik i uh, okay so rikit uh, okay guys ask any other technical questions guys are you teaching ai deployment in hardware actually ai deployment in ha hardware which is available on the another course which is artificial intelligence master class where uh, we have shown uh, artificial deployment in hardware we just given some ideas about artificial intelligence deployment in the hardware is like raspberry pi jetson and then uh, intel movidius neural compute stick to so likewise we have given some uh, overview idea about the hardware so just an idea guys which is given in the another course but this is not in the data analytics
the same video will be available on the portal yes of course only the technical video it will be available on the portal but so once the internship or once this youtube webinar is completed there are there may be additional sessions or additional lectures additional bonus can be will be given into the internship portal okay so it is not only about a uh, youtube additionally we are going to add some more lectures or some more projects okay some more projects to the internship portal okay uh when the internship will going to start actually if you are registered for the internship uh today's lecture will be updated in the internship portal you are going to start it from the today and you are also going to start or you are going to learn it from but uh today itself from the today itself okay and also don't forget to uh do the exercise guys success mindset as i have already told you mindset is also highly necessary for you guys so please build your mindset like attitude uh positive mindset thinking big and uh creating a positive vibrations so those things i'm going to teach i or i'm going to do it with you guys please do it with me and take your time today night okay night uh, if you if you are free from other environment keep your mobile phone aside and try to write down what you are thinking that you want to do or what you want to become or what you want to buy so what you all thinking all thinking so you may take five or six additional sheets it may be it, uh, it, it is okay okay try to make it like a spiral notebook and please write it guys okay or you hope i hope you guys are going to do this task with me guys if you are going to do with me uh, you are going you just tell me like uh, i am with you sanjay in your live chat okay okay guys i think we are in the end of the session so uh, first of all i would like to thank for the people who are all interacted here and i would like to thank uh, the people who are all attended the session so far and uh, if you want to know about any courses or project or product you please visit panexsolutions.net and uh, if you want to follow me you can also follow me through the linkedin uh, the linkedin link is also given in the description below as a speaker's profile i think okay so if you want i can able to give the uh, linkedin link okay so uh, so we please follow us on the linkedin also okay so and uh, and what um and that's the thing guys okay so i hope you enjoyed the today session so please uh, uh from now uh, you just be ready for the hands on please have your notebooks with you and please have your laptop with you so uh, so that we are going to do uh, each and everything we are going to learn both skill set and then mindset together okay so i hope i'll trust you that you are going to with me guys okay so we are going to learn both skill set and then mindset we are going to develop that and uh, so that's all the things and you can follow us on the instagram and then facebook and those things okay so uh, so if you want to interact with me live you can attend the uh, youtube session whereas if you are the internship you can attend both live as well as the internship program where it has been the uh, video will be there apart from it you are also going to have uh, live q and a session you can also open a uh, call uh, so it will be connected once the session is completed okay so uh, you can also interact with me on the live also that is only for the paid participants okay so that's all up to the session guys i hope you enjoyed the enjoyed the today's session so thank you so much for attending the session thank you once again it's me sanjay signing off until then bye we'll see you on the tomorrow session